Question 17. So, um, remember to the power of third is just cube rooting everything. So, we want to apply this to each of the terms. Well, the cube root of 8 is 2. Now, 8 to the power of 6 to the power of a third is just 6 times a third, which is 2, so that's e squared. Similarly, on the denominator, 12 times a third is 4, so that's f to the 4 in the denominator. Now, part B, to factorise this fully, well, step 1, we can take the 2 out, so we've got 2 lots of y squared minus 36. You've then got to spot that this is a, a difference between two squares, so with this can be y plus 6, y minus 6. Now, part C, we need to fully factorise the numerator and fully factorise the denominator. Well, the denominator is easy. We just take the P out. So we've got P multiplied by P minus 3, close brackets. The numerator is quite a complicated quadratic to factorise. Um, some people just do it by inspection, just by trial and error, really. I prefer to um, do it like this. So this is what I've done to the numerator. Uh, we start off by trying to think of the two magic numbers which multiply make the 2 times the minus 15, which is minus 30, yet add to be the coefficient of the p, which is minus 1. What two numbers is this? Well, minus 6 and 5. We then split our middle term down into a minus 6 and a 5. So we go from a three-term problem to a four-term problem. It doesn't matter which way around, but I've gone and split minus p to be minus 6p plus 5p. We then go and fully factorise the first two terms, giving us this, and we fully factorise the last two terms, giving us this. You will note that we've got a repeated bracket. And then our final pair of brackets is the bits which aren't in a bracket already, so the 2p plus 5, and our second bracket is the repeated bracket, the p minus 3. So that is how I got the numerator, and then you can see we've got a common factor here, the p minus 3 cancel, leaving us with 2p plus 5 all over a p. And at that point you can just drop the bracket because it's not being multiplied by anything.